Yeah, hi there. Just wanted to update you on the case of the human remains in the cases case. Does that make sense? This is absolutely unbelievable, really. It's kind of comical, but not comical. It's never comical to discover human remains in cases. But in this case, it is comical. Welcome to Aldon's Reviews and True Crime. The man on the bridge in the photograph has actually been named. His name is within the social media network and he's Colombian in the area of Shepherd's Bush in West London. Now, police are looking into this. Apparently, they have found other body parts, separate body parts from the two bodies within the cases. Now, this is the bit which makes it kind of unbelievable. Now, he embarked on uh, going onto the bridge when somebody was there 24-7. Security person was there 24-7. I don't know why the security guard never approached the person at the time but he embarked on getting rid of these cases over the bridge by slinging them over the bridge and he obviously didn't know that the bridge would be full of cctv cctv you can't get to because it's quite high up on the bridge but they're pretty good cameras by the looks of it i knew that he'd be recognized somewhere and obviously it was he arrived at a busy pub now, this pub is about 400 metres away from Clifton Suspension Bridge. But apparently he travelled to Bristol and then from Bristol he caught a taxi to this pub. Now, he had to have uh, a hand in with the, the, the heavy suitcases from presumably the taxi driver and also a hand out of the taxi by the punters coming out of the pub. So there's another man, as all, he looked on and he, he commented and joked. He said, you must have some uh, dead bodies in there. And uh, he thought it was a bit suspicious, as you would think, with these heavy cases. But then again, people were joking about it and then he didn't think too much of it. But these people, apparently there was another guy and there was a blonde girl helping them with the cases. I don't know yet whether they were... Um, involved or whether they were just people from the pub but apparently this man who was suspicious he reported it in to the police the Colombian man is still out there somewhere now in my mind maybe he's used to getting rid of bodies in his own country and finds it quite straightforward in his country but in this country um, with that type of thing he's he's going to be noticed so has he hopped on um, a boat somewhere and gone abroad? Who knows? Hopefully, obviously, they're, they're looking at all the airports and whether he books himself a flight. They've let his name out there. So surely he wouldn't be stupid enough to go to an airport where he's been named. But then again, you don't know, really, do you? Don't approach this man as well as being stupid. He is known as perhaps being dangerous. And I'll keep you updated anyway on the case. Nothing surprises me in the true crime world. Anyway, please enjoy the day and take care. Thank you.